Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In previous session, we have discussed how to read the data from the database and how to create the new book and how to save into the database. In today's session, we are going to discuss how to edit this book and how we can modify the data. For that, we are going to open the solution explorer. Inside this books, we are going to create a new page for edit. Click on razor page, select the empty razor page, add. Here I am going to create new page called edit. First we will implement the business logics. Go to the edit page. To communicate with DB, we need app DB context. First we will initialize that. Select the context, go to the quick actions, generate constructor. Now here we have to add the bind property. Here I am going to define my books model. I will name it as books. By default I will make it as default values here we are going to read the data based on the id here whenever user clicks on the edit here we will get the id of that record so based on the id we are going to read the data here i'll define this input parameter and its optional id and here i am going to check if id is null then i will return the page to index again I'm going to redirect to the index page here. This I'm going to change as async. If ID is not null, then we have to read the data from the database. Here we will get the book details. I have to get the data from context.books. First or default. So here I need to pause the book details. B.id equals to id input parameter which we are going to receive from our index view once we get the book we need to verify whether it contains data or not whether it can return one record of book or we may get the null so if it is Null again we need to redirect to the index page. Let me if books are not null, then we need to assign this data to bind property, which is declared here. This is our bind property. I am going to assign this book. Finally, we have to return the page. Based on the ID, we are going to read the data and we are going to return to this page. Next, 
we need to create another action method to update the data. I will make this as a sync and here I am going to post the data. Before saving the data, we need to check whether model state is valid or not. If it's not valid, we are going to redirect to the same page. We can use return page here. If its model state is valid, then we have to update the data. For that, I'll use context dot update I can use here we have to pause the book after updating we have to save the changes since it's a async method we need to use the save changes async we have to use a white keyword also after successful update again we need to return to the page I'll redirect to page here I can make it index here now go to the edit.cshtml page here we need to define the our UI part First, I'll add title here. Then I'll use one div. I'm going to use the same bootstrap classes here for edit also let me copy from the create and I'm going to reuse this here we are going to copy the same view back title here we are going to display inside the s3 tag and we are creating card inside this we are going to show title Also here we are showing the book description and then author. To update any data we need the primary key value for that I'll keep here the input type is hidden ASP4 here I'm going to use books.id I need to pass the ID also to modify the data so others are remain same also when we submit it has to update the data I will make it as update and if user wants to go back to the index page they can click on this back to list let me go to the CS page and I will enable the debug points here also for post let me run the application in debug mode so there are some errors here let me use await here also 
now run the application in debug mode here we are going to click on edit button we can notice here we are getting ID of each book let me click on this edit it's coming to the get action method here ID is not null here we can see the book details let me continue it's returning to the page this instead of view bag I'm going to change it as view data for view bag we cannot assign the key let me change it to the title I'll run the application again I'll re hot reload this page click on edit let me continue I'm getting the book details okay so the data are binding into our text box controllers just I'll change a few things here let me click on update again it is hitting to post action method so model state is valid now it will try to update that book the book details has been updated with latest details let me go to the DB and we can check the data there so earlier we heard this data the ID 2 let me execute the latest details has been updated to the database like this we can update the data in Razor pages in next session we are going to implement the delete functionality in Razor pages that's it for today if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching